The best protection a woman can have is courage. Today, I will be talking about Elizabeth Cady Stanton, a American suffragette born November 12, 1815. Um, she was born in Johnsontown, New York. She died on October 26, 1902 in New York. So she lived her whole life in New York. Um, she went to school at Emma Willard School for two years from 1930 to 1932. She was an American suffragette, a social activist, and an abolitionist. She wrote the Declaration of Sentiments, which is credited with being one of the most first leading steps towards women's rights. She worked with Susan B. Anthony, which is the famous, most famous suffragette we know. She was also a very famous published author. She wrote The Woman's Bible and 80 Years and More and many other articles and pamphlets and other things describing what she believed in. She was born Christian but later rejected the beliefs to focus on more logical and knowledgeable thinking. Her husband very much disagreed in what she believed in, which had to make for a very stressful marriage on top of everything else she was going through. She lived in a time where most people believed that men were better than women and women did not deserve equal rights as men. While she was a fan of equal rights, she was appalled that the 14th and 15th Amendment were being passed. She believed that everyone should have equal rights and African-American men should not get the right to vote before women did. She, like most others in her time, was destined to be a homemaker, to cook, to clean, to raise the children, but she was not satisfied with this life, so she did everything she could to try and change it for her and women of the future.